Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go. Yeah, how do you like my rock and roll music? As always, so welcome back on my video session today. So we are continuing still on Fajistu FH dash X E2 PC. So previously we were talking about CPU the GPU weren't we? If you remember previously I was talking about how which one will come with which CPU comes with which GPU I said that if if it's something like 9700 you probably won't get the Intel UHD alright 630 I actually said that didn't I let's talk about a bit more detail on that before we go on to just the GPU on this video the thing with that is right when you got like a different model in some like Pajistu PCs right you will see they have written um, Intel UHD graphics now there's no number on it is there how truthful is it when they put 107 comma zero zero because I said that in my previous video but in a way that is true as well what they do but in some systems right they won't tell you what it is because there is some other uh, models to Intel i7 core right and the Intel i7 core is the most important thing here because if your Intel Evans i7 core is a different model right you're not gonna get the newer one all right what happens there if they're writing Intel UHD graphics which one is it it's Intel UHD graphics 620 that's what it is that's going to be available in a different models of Intel i7 core majority of times 9700 and plus models have what do you think Intel UHD 630 graphics you actually have that but how can you tell if there's an Intel UHD 630 graphics in there? Because it's written in the description. But the silly thing about this is on even the official Fujitsu website, when you read the data sheet, it will say Intel UHD graphics. And that is 
620, all right. That is going to be the 620, by the way. It's definitely that one. In some, like, tablets, right, you're going to see they don't have Intel UHD 630 graphics. No, they don't have that. It's only going to write the Intel UHD graphics. And that is, and you know, when they write that, that's the Intel UHD 620 graphics. In some of the devices they do, they will actually write that and you'll get that one. You won't get Intel UHD 630 graphics. You won't get that one. So that's one thing to understand about that. It's quite confusing. I would say don't get confused. Because if you see a Pacific system made by Fujitsu, right? And it just mentions Intel USD graphics, then you know it's the one Intel UHD 620 graphics, okay? It will be that one. But in the other one, he actually tells you. What does he tell you? He tells you that what the GPU is. He will say Intel UHD 630 graphics. He will actually say that. So this is one of the things that I want to declare properly. Because previously I said that maybe 9700 won't have it. It actually does have it. Intel UHD 630 graphics is in the 9700 model as well. Yes, it is in there. So be aware of that when you buy the system. Because if you are looking for Intel USD 630 graphics, it will actually say that. All right. So if you're looking for that, look for that. Um, so there's loads of like um, tablets and for just two mini PCs, right? Well, just write into UHD graphics. All right. A lot of the time, you will get that way because it's a different model. All right. It's hard to get the Intel UHD 630 graphics, you know, because it's available in the higher models. All right. You got to understand that. You're not going to get that in a low model. You're going to get in a higher one. The reason to, the reason they do that because that's the way to get a really high, good, high performance out of EC. So anyway, that part is covered now today. So we're going to go further. Right. Intel UHD 620, right, has 1050 MHz. All right. Intel UHD 630 has 1150 MHz. So, what is going on there? If you look at both the MSZ speeds there, okay, the Intel UHD 630 graphics is 100 MSZ higher than Intel UHD 620 graphics. And that's what it means. All right. That's the thing you really need to understand. It gives you a faster speed. It gives you 100, of course. How can you tell it's 100? If you look at the Intel USD 620, it's got 1050 in there. All right? And if you look at Intel UHD 630, 750. 1050. When you add another 100 to that, it's 1150. <laughs> That's how you work it out. All right. Now, this is a very important part. Okay, a very important. L3 cache. Well, L3 cache will be available in both. I wouldn't say it's much of a difference there. Alright. But the biggest thing about 
is the memory right which is on ddr3 4 slash ddr4 and maximum clock rate which depends on the models all right right let's explain this in th th more theoretical knowledge the memory if your DDR3 and DDR4 don't have the right memory what the application requires you won't able to run it all right you probably will click on it and it probably won't run it won't just open it will come a dialog, dialog box and then it actually wouldn't work at all he will actually do that you know and when we talk about a maximum clock rate with maximum clock rates you get faster speeds for your applications you will get all that kind of stuff a clock rate is very important as if this Intel USD 630 graphics has 1150 you know MXZ so it has a really really good clock speed on there so it's pretty good and it's reliable and it's fast and with that you get a lot of good stuff happening with it all right now the Intel UHD right graphics right are using quad core CPUs all right now the quad core gaming right oh sorry the quad core CPU it's very good for gaming performance that is why nowadays systems you probably seen the integrated GPU ones like even laptops or desktops they use that because it gives you really good gaming performance because it's using quad core CPUs quad core boosts good speeds for your more for your games man all right so we talk about gaming performance here right so it is similar to right um, NVIDIA GeForce 910M and 920M video cards mm. which, are, which are made from NVIDIA it's similar to that and I would say that's a really good thing yeah they're pretty impressive these um, integrated GPUs they're pretty good from Intel as well. Once I've got integrated GPUs from Intel, then we got video cards from NVIDIA. All right. Both the um, Intel USD 620 and 630 are good for modern gaming. But the thing with um, Intel UHD 630 graphics, as I already told you, if they got higher memory of DDR3 or slash DDR4 and maximum clock rates, it's going to be better, isn't it? It's going to be a lot better. Sometimes the clock rate speeds are the same. But the memory on DDR3 and post DDR4 is higher. It will help your applications pretty good. All right. It does a lot of things when you have these two things. It's really important. Now take a look at this part, okay? So this part is like Intel UHD Graphics 620. 
24 0 0.3 1.15 GHz 64 over slash 128 bit alright then another one you got Intel USD graphics 630 24 0 0.3 1.15 GHz 64 4 slash 128 bit they're both the similar specification of them but bear in mind the memory I talked about in DDR3 4 slash DDR4 and maximum maximum clock rates. That's where Intel UHD 630 graphics pumps up. Now let's go back on the Fujitsu FH-XE2. So this monitor, right, with the rectangular shape, test up has the hardware and sound with two channel speakers subwoofer so you got all this technology in this very that's thickness test up I can make it be more depth knowledge on it so you got a monitor at the top and then at the bottom you got like a rectangular desktop it's like straight line all right straight line it's very neatly presented it looks very uh, supreme visual beauty this system does is very very nice indeed it's got this good specs using Intel i7 core RAM and Intel USD graphics 630 it's got that in there you know so you got a good specifications on the system obviously it's rectangular shape it's just built the way it is you can't upgrade the system no you can't even when you go on the website there's not many uh, upgradable like not upgradable configuration for it there isn't you know I mean if you look at the system RAM and um, GPU there's not much you could do with that that's just gonna stay similar I think the RAMs are only about 8 GB RAM, you know. Every GB RAM is fine, it's pretty good. And then you got GPU as Intel UST 630 graphics. You get that. So you get all these two parts. They're still pretty good. And then you got the Intel, uh, Intel i7 core, which is very good as well. And then top of that, you got a choice of uh, two display panels that you can choose from 1080p HD and 4k hmm. you got these two displays that you can choose from these are the configurations that you can make you have to select the thing you want with it and stuff like that another thing that I found quite interesting if it's got a DVD maybe it hasn't you got a Blu-ray drive that you could use in this thing as well okay so the front rectangular desktop has loads of ports all right you can even put your I think it's got two flash drives USB ports on there and on the right hand side it's got a drive hmm it's a very beautiful looking thing but it's still made for your uh, your desk because it's a PC. It doesn't matter how beautiful it looks. You can't. Well, can you put that thing in a living room? It's not really made for a living room. I would say it's really made for a computer desk. <laughs> it's made for that. 
But the way it's made, it's quite a nice looking thing. I mean, looks very nice. Give me probably going to living room. I mean, the biggest one you get is 27 inch. <laughs> Would that be enough? Would that be big enough to put in a living room though? It looks very gorgeous though. The other thing is that you get a remote control with it as well. With the remote control, yeah, it's got one, two, three buttons on there. That is for your TV tuner, your satellite broadcasting there. You could ch change the channels with the buttons like one, two, three. And it's got record buttons so you can record some programs in the, from the TV tuner. From the channels. Is there anything else you can do that if you can't use the TV tuner? Because I think that really thing is going to be like for Japan, isn't it? It's not going to be for any other country. It might not work for the country, you know. Because I think this model is really made for Japanese. The other thing is that always it's got some arrows on the remote. With the arrows, you can move it. You can move the cursor, and then select. And press OK. The buttons on the remote, and it should be able to do stuff like that. I mean, you got like a program like Ice Cream, which is a video capture application program, whatever you want to call it. With that, you can um, record any programs. Obviously, it's a screen capture. Whatever program you opened, and there's a even a, like a like a, like a square on there. You click on it, it goes on full screen. You could actually record that by screen capturing it, which is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, with that, with that, it's gonna like record your programs so you can use the remote for that so there's different different things that you can use the remote control for which is pretty pretty good okay now back on the gaming side of things right this thing can play always got Intel UST 630 graphics it will have some like good FPS Okay, in some modern games, but some games are going to be pretty high demanding, so you need to do some settings on there so you can get to play and get some good performance from these games. All right, you will be able to be able to do that because there were some like high demanding games, and they go the Intel USD 630 graphics does actually play them, which was quite surprising. And this system. For just to FH FH dash X E2 has the Intel UHD 630 graphics in it. It will actually play them. So this PC is pretty good for that. Yeah, don't think it isn't. It's quite good. That integrated UP is really good on this PC. So you you're very in a very good position, you know, to enjoy gaming as well what about because it is a 4k monitor you're not gonna able to do 4k on it for like gaming so what is a 4k when useful for your 4k can be useful for graphic designing if you're a graphic designer you could use your, some of your graphic design work on it and stuff like that and you can do you could watch from like some streaming 4K videos. Or if you got all your own videos, you can watch them on these for just two monitors in this 4K monitors. Yeah. You should be able to do all that without any problems. You should be able to do 4K, which is pretty interesting. And one part for gaming, you can do 720, 720p HD. And 1080p HD resolutions, and the other side for uh, streaming videos and for graphic design work, you could do 4K. Yeah, you should be able to do all that. No joke. So I would say fully, this system that we just made is really good. But just do always strives for higher standards and that's what he's done on this system as well 
He will never disappoint you. What he makes. They always put good hardware and they put a mixture of other things to make a really good system. So a person really tends to like the system and doesn't get disappointed with it. So also for just to put his own bits of bats to the his uh, for just to monitors and hardware. There are for just to stuff added in these sessions as well. Not only from other companies, for just to also put his own stuff to give you high performance PC. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. And it's giving you great knowledge on the Fujitsu FH-XE2 PC. <laughs> great. A very supreme visual beauty PC. Which is very impressive looking. And looks really amazing. So I hope I'll give you new tech knowledge and it's helped you guys a lot out there. So there you have it. Give your likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.